Hi, this is Chris with Stupid Raisins, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to import photos into Final Cut Pro 10. But first, say cheese. I'm gonna share with you ways that you can import photos into Final Cut Pro. Also, some really great organization tips to keep everything in line. Uh, and if you've been tasked with creating a slideshow for your family because you happen to be the most tech savvy person around, but you still have no idea what you're doing, I feel your pain. And I'm gonna show you my workflow for creating a quick, easy, simple slideshow that is still lovely for the family to enjoy. Let's check that out. All right, so diving into photos. First thing we're gonna do is not use Final Cut. We're gonna look at the Photos app. So here I got a bunch of pictures of my kids at Christmas a few years back. Uh, so what we're going to do is go through a couple different things, ways to organize your photos before you import them. It'll save you a lot of time. So let's say we're going through and I'm like, hey, I like this one, this one. You got this little heart icon where you can, you know, so find your favorites, the ones that have the best smiles, any uh, duplicates. This is a good point to weed those out. Because any anytime you're working with a slideshow and you throw a bunch of things in there, suddenly you're finding duplicates of pictures across all over the place. So that's one thing you can do is, is organize things by favorites and then they all appear right inside of this. Uh, it's kind of a smart folder. And uh, the other thing you can do is find, you know, things on your recents. Uh, those would pop in right here. Um, anything you've recently imported. So the other thing you can do is add a new album. So we're gonna go to file, new album. And from here, all we gotta do is, from the library, drag through a bunch of these and drop. And let's rename this Christmas Day. Boom. So we got all our, our photos organized in this Christmas Day album. It's really great to organize into groups. Uh, like if, if you're doing a memorial of someone's life, uh, you may want to separate the early days. You may want to create a childhood album, and then maybe perhaps the next one is teen angst, marriage, and kids. And the last one, you can name something like legacy. And you can just kind of separate these things and help you organize them. That way, when it comes time to drop it into your timeline, you can put them in order. All right, so the next thing we're going to take a look at is how to organize in Finder. So again, uh, one of the things I recommend is creating some folders. So we could start with objects and let's create another one. People, landscapes. So what you can do from here is you can find, you can drag things into these based on what you see in there. So, and the best thing about this is when you import them into Final Cut Pro, they will actually have these keywords on them. All right, so the next thing we can do in the Finder is we can actually create some labels. So I'm gonna come in here and let's click on tags. Let's say we're covering a wedding and we're having a slideshow. We wanna have maybe the ceremony and we can have reception and let's call the other one getting ready. So now what we can do is we can go to these other clips and we can add these tags. A little bit of organization now will save you a ton of time later. All right, so now we're gonna look at importing these into Final Cut Pro. So what we're gonna do is open a library. I'm gonna create a new one. All right, and let's go ahead and call it Memorial Slideshow. Save. And now we've got an event in here. Just to help us out, we're gonna name that Slideshow. So how Final Cut organizes this is it has libraries, events, and projects and media. So let's go ahead and click on, since we have nothing, it's given us the option right here to import media. The other way to get there, let's click on this here. All right, so we got the import menu opened up. First thing I'm gonna do is plug in my phone. And we're gonna click here on the phone and we see we've got some things we can put in here. And this is one way you, that you can bring in your photos in is straight from a phone or camera. So you can look on your hard drive to find what you're looking for. Maybe you have inserted like a USB or an external hard drive and you can find those uh, right around here. Um, but for this case, we are going to come through and find in documents. I have a slideshow folder, double click on that and we can scroll through and find all the pictures that we wanted to add in. All right, we'll select them all. 
Now there's a few different things you can do uh, with these pictures. You can either copy them to library. If you're importing them straight into Final Cut, you might as well just put them in the library because they may be coming from different sources. Uh, but if you've already organized your files, they're in a folder on your computer, you're going to want to select leave files in place. Uh, then you can also set it up to where uh, keywords would come in from either finder tags or folders. So that's that thing I mentioned earlier where the keywords can be created from those tags we made. So we're going to go ahead and import these in. Now you'll see because we did create some tags, uh, they are popping in with each one of these tags right here. But you'll see the bulk of them here. Now the other way I want to show you to bring in some photos is you can click this photos and audio sidebar right here. So in the photos you can find the photos that you've added into the photos app. You can scroll through and select some of these, highlight these, drag them right into your slideshow. And boom, there they appear. If you're finding this helpful so far, just know we release new content all the time to help with your Final Cut Pro projects. Now, a picture's worth a thousand words, but a subscription, so much more. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to get notified when we release our next video. So I'm gonna take you through the rest of my workflow. Once you've organized your files into folders or put tags to each of them, uh, then we're gonna dive into Final Cut and these are the, the steps from here that I would take to create a really fast, simple, but still lovely slideshow. So once you've imported all the pictures, go up to Final Cut Pro, we're gonna hit Preferences. So what you wanna figure out is how long you want your slideshow to be. Keep in mind, your audience may not want to look at every picture for six seconds. A picture appearing on a screen for three seconds um, but it's not up there so long that you're wondering, okay, when's the next picture coming? The next thing is transition. Three second pictures work really great with one second transitions. So for now, we're gonna set this to three and one. Okay, so now we're ready to create our project. Down here in the timeline, you'll see this little icon to create a new project. You can also go up here and go to file new and project, or you've got the shortcut command N. I'm gonna say Memorial Slideshow. Typically all these settings are, you just wanna keep as is there. We'll select okay. So since we did the hard work earlier of organizing everything, all we have to do now is click through each of these folders, these keyword folders, and we highlight all the pictures in each one, click and drag and drag them in. Now sometimes you may get to this point and you realize there's a few of these that maybe have doubled up. Like I see this doubles up throughout there. Now let's say you were like, oh, you know what? I really wanted this to appear before this other photo or hey, this photo I kind of want here. So we make all of our adjustments in this step and we go all the way through until we know before we add any transitions, we know that these are in order. These are the way we want them to appear on the screen. All right, now you may find that once you get things in your timeline, the length of the clips, like these ones right here, are all set to like 10 seconds. You're like, wait, I tried to make that four seconds, or three seconds, what have you. So Command A to select all. And then what we're gonna do is right click and we can choose change duration or we can do Control D for duration. And we see this has turned purple, this time code here. So we're just gonna enter the keys. Now let's say we needed three seconds. Let's do three. We're gonna add two zeros. So three for the seconds and two zeros for the frames. And we're gonna hit enter. And if we click on a single clip, right here's our total time. And there we go, we got three seconds on those. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come over to transitions. So what I would suggest is something very simple. You wanna find something that's nice and subtle, like this cross dissolve or something like a blur that will, uh, with each one, it'll just simply blur into the next picture. One thing you could do is, is, is drag this and drop this over every single clip. We don't wanna do it that way. All right, so we're gonna press Command A to select all, and then Command T to put those transitions right in across the whole board. And as we watch it, we see we've got those nice transitions. So now what you can do is grab a title. We're just gonna come here and put a simple title. We're gonna find, I think blur would be a great one where it's just gonna fade in and fade out. Now we can either click on the text here or on the inspector window here, we can go to the text box and let's do grandma's memorial slideshow. We can adjust that how we want, make that bigger. Come in here, find a 
nice. Oh, this one looks nice. We could drag this around to where we want it to go. Boom, nice little fade in, a little blur action, and then it fades right into the video. So the other thing you can do is drag and drop a audio file into here. All right, nice final touch. With that, we got a slideshow. Last thing you wanna do is come up here, click share, export to uh, whichever one you're looking to do. If you have a DVD, you can drop that in there, or you can bring it to just an export file, memorial slideshow. Save it on your desktop so it's easy to find. And boom, it is sharing. In just a few moments, your slideshow will be all ready. Great, now that you've learned how to import photos to Final Cut Pro, I've made another video about how to add text to video in Final Cut Pro. Click here to check it out.